College Football 25 Road to Glory. We're following the career of quarterback Matt Maher. And this video is made possible by the EA Creator Network. And remember, this build I'm playing on is a work in progress. After redshirting his freshman year at the Sam Houston Bearcats, he transferred to Ohio, where we were an instant starter, but we really didn't have the best season. And today is a very big day, because headed into our sophomore year, we're hitting the transfer portal. And I won't lie, the transfer portal looks a hell of a lot better than it looked. We would be a starter today at number four ranked Clemson or number two ranked Alabama. But I'm not gonna lie, this is a huge leap. We just played for Sam Houston and then the Ohio Bobcats. Are we really gonna jump all the way up to a five star? We would be a starter. We would have so much talent around us, but I'm not gonna lie, this just doesn't feel right. So then I took a look at some four star programs like Iowa, who notoriously has an amazing defense and a bad offense. That might be fun. Notre Dame would start us right now. I could be a backup at LSU. I could start at Ole Miss. I could start at Miami. At first, I thought this was crazy. How could I start at these programs? But look at what Clemson is rocking for quarterbacks right now. They have two freshman 69 overall quarterbacks. Their stud senior just retired. <laughs> retired. I think my most realistic bet, though, is with three-star programs. It'll be a big enough leap that we can learn the ropes and hopefully get us ready for a junior or senior year at a five-star. I could head to Maryland, my alma mater, Michigan State, Purdue, or Washington. But there is one program that I have my eyes set on. I think I'm going to pull the trigger. That's the North Carolina Tar Heels. I'd be a starter today. They're a three-and-a-half-star program and we'll have some really tough competition in the ACC. We're an 83 overall quarterback. This is an 84 overall program. I think North Carolina is gonna be an awesome landing spot. Matt Maher out of DeWitt, Michigan is committed to the Tar Heels. When I was growing up, I was a true casual. I liked teams because they had cool colors and North Carolina was always one of my favorites. Wait, 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 what? I have to position battle for my spot? Crazy enough, this is our first time getting a position battle. Coach just said it might be time for a change at starting quarterback. We're gonna see whether you deserve the spot. Coach, I transferred here because you said I would be the starter. So there's three mini games. We gotta win two out of three. I'll also get coach trust. We start with scramble survive. I'm very glad that I'm an improviser and that D lineman just hopped my dude. He literally just hurtled my offensive lineman. How could I possibly have gotten that right there? It was like the worst case scenario. All right, you got to pick up the first one, then pick up the second, then find somebody open. That's exactly how you do it right there. The score to beat is 10,000, so I don't actually need gold. Oh, we just have to convert a pass here. If I can get one of them and convert the pass, we got it. Okay, good. Just go to B, catch it. That was 9,599. Dog shit. Okay. I gotta beat 4,000 here. I gotta stay in the pocket, dodge the tennis balls, and hit the targets. Oh, yikes. Beauty. Let's get gold, and then call it. Okay, well my pocket presence is great. Okay, we dominated that drill, now it's past skeleton. We gotta beat 2,000 points. Oh my God, it comes down to this drill for QB1. I know that we can stack our multiplier by just making completions. So honestly, we just start this drill off by throwing all the checkdowns. Okay, we're doing good right now. We just have to keep completing passes. Please catch. Nice work. Okay, we're almost at 2,000. One more completion. We hit 2,000. Got to hit my Texas route. Touchdown. That's all she wrote. We'll take gold anyway for some coach trust. It was not pretty, and coach may have lied to me, but I did win the QB battle, and we're truly the starter at North Carolina. All right, now let's see what North Carolina's got in store. First things first is our schedule. Two bye weeks. We've got TCU, UConn. Duke, Notre Dame, Clemson, Oregon State, Syracuse. Wow, this is not the Mac. Got to study for my classes, improve my leadership, grab some XP. Easy day. We got off to a hot start in our sophomore season with a 22 to 17 victory over TCU. And in week three at home against UConn, we smacked them 49 to 21. And that leads us to the first game that I want to fully play. And it's a rivalry game, North Carolina, at Duke. I know this is more of a basketball rivalry, but I am still very excited for this game. Here's North Carolina's squad, by the way. You'll notice some insanely good defensive players. In fact, almost our entire top 10 is defensive. We got Molly Hamrick, Cornell Harris, Michael Short, Joel Starlings, Caleb Cost, Travis Shaw, Zach Rice, Trayvon Green, Ken Whittington, Jaden Patterson, and Ashton Woods. And wide receivers don't look too special until you see Emmanuel Cantu, a sophomore, 99 speed, 
94 acceleration deep threat. Cantu is an auto-generated player. And I had no idea he was on North Carolina. It just worked out perfectly. And then I got Jake Johnson at tight end. 84 overall with 84 speed, 90 excel. That is a very solid tight end. Not to mention he's six foot six. So I have an amazing receiving core and we're 2-0. Oh. Look at those uniforms, bro. Those are so sick. We're at Wallace Wade Stadium. Let's bully some nerds today, gentlemen. Jet touch pass. Please tell me this is to Cantu. It's not to Cantu, but it should be, because that dude's got 99 speed, but whatever. I guess coach is not letting me make the rules. All right, second and four. Oh, beautiful, right out in the flats. That's our backup halfback. Stadium is still so loud. I don't even think I can call it an audible. Hey, we got Jake Johnson though, a six foot six tight end. I feel like we put this up to him. That's a, hey, that's a good. Jake Johnson, six foot six for what, buddy? Oh, I had can too. I'm gonna go Jake Johnson again. I gotta get this guy hot. Nice, nice. All right, second and goal. Jake Johnson is out. I feel like he's definitely my des best deep threat. Dude, I wanna hit Jake Johnson so bad. I know this is a pretty stupid thing to say, but in high school, my quarterback's name was Jake Johnson. So I really want to feed the ball to Jake Johnson and we do it right there. Come on, baby. It's a pretty generic name though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use the speed. I'm gonna look for Cantu over the top. If he's not there, I want my running back as a check down. I gotta try it, dude. He's got, he's got, he's so fast. Cantu. Dude, having a 99 speed wide receiver is so cheese. Put the dude on a streak. Honestly, he didn't even really beat the DB. The DB just played really poor coverage right there. I'm not going to complain. If you want to play defense like that all game, I'll be very happy. And look at that. I swear Cantu might be there again. I'm going to put a streak on the left side so the safety can't sink. And I'm going to block Johnson and Louie. And I think I'm just going to do it again. No, he's not there. I need a playmaker. Oh, please, Maher. Mobile Deadeye. Mobile Deadeye. Damn. He got lit up for it. This might be man coverage. We're spread it out. Oh, clear. Can't two. Can't two. Can't two. Dude, look at that bucket. That bucket he dropped that in. Oh, yikes. What a looping blitz. I don't think he got picked up at all. And it's fourth and 14. Damn it. Hey, North Carolina is much better on defense at least overall wise than they are on offense. So we can kind of see that right now. Hey, that went into Jake Johnson. The Jake Johnson corner out, very effective. I'm gonna put Cantu on a post. I don't know how posts uh, work this year. Shit, I just got disconnected as I threw a dot. I wonder what's gonna happen here. It's actually a nasty ball and Cantu catches it. I'm, I'm pause glitching the CPU like this is 2K. Uh, short corner out out of Johnson. We gotta take the one underneath, beautiful. Look who it is. And honestly, dude, if I'm going to play at least two years at North Carolina, feeding the ball to Cantu is going to get his overall. Okay, that looked like pretty good defense. Improviser. We improvise! Uh, let's just read the defense. No need to predetermine this. See? Cantu! Cantu! Holy shit! That is unholy. That is not okay. He is so fast. That should never have been a touchdown. Gotta say, so far, I'm loving North Carolina's offense. I'm gonna hand this one off. Gotta show some love to Jordan Louie, who gets himself in the end zone. Nice work. One thing I haven't noticed yet is quarterbacks getting subbed out. Like, I mean, we're, we're shitting on Duke, and if I get another touchdown here, we're up by 30. Don't you think they would pull me? Like, don't you think coach would pull me out? Here's that post route again. Ugh. Yeah, that was aggressive. Pretty much just chewing this clock and putting Duke away. I'm surprised there's still this many fans in the stadium, to be honest. Warm up the cars, ladies and gentlemen. Beat the traffic. Could probably get him another touchdown here if he clears on the right side. I just gotta see what this looks like. Or he'll clear instantly. Ew. You caught that? Okay, this kid is an absolute monster. An absolute monster. This is fake bubble wheel, but I'm honestly just putting Cantu on a slant. It's 38 to 15, like I shouldn't be in the game, but look at Cantu, they're doubling him. They're doubling him. They have doubled him in man coverage and they still can't guard that because he's that fast. Emmanuel Cantu will be the star of North Carolina right alongside me. I am so glad that we transferred here. Ooh, and Jordan Louis, 94 speed, 96 Excel is in the end zone. Everybody is happy after this rivalry game. We're moving to three and oh. And with no time left, I'm in a stat pad like an Oh my God, that might lay it straight up. That's insane. That's 
so insane. Oh my God, going from Ohio to this program is night and day. 52 to 22. How on earth did I not get National Player of the Week? No, but seriously though, how did I not win National Player of the Week? Like who won Player of the Week over me? I just threw 500 yards. Oh, duh. It went to my teammate, Emmanuel Kant, who had nine receptions, 208 receiving yards, and four receiving touchdowns. Yeah, okay. I mean, how do I really be mad at that? We're at 84 overall, I got six skill points. I think it's time that we uh, grab some more abilities on Maher. So the bronze tier is three for each, so we can get two. I think sleight of hand for a boost on play action slash trick plays, that'll be nice, because I do like play action. Off platform gives you improved accuracy, cross body or back foot, but bronze requires 90 throw power, and I only have 85. Extender improves my break sack ability. So I guess I'll go for that right now. In order to get off platform, I need more throw power. And in order to get more throw power, I have to upgrade power, which is nine skill points. Lost by one possession to Notre Dame, 31 to 26. That's a tough one, because I almost transferred to Notre Dame. And after beating us, they're now ranked. Our next game is against a program that wanted me as well. Taking on the seventh in the nation, Clemson Tigers. It's the Tigers, right? It's the Clemson Tigers? Yes. Oh, that walkout is so sick. Okay, that's actually so sick. Yeesh. Look at this stadium. Look at this stadium. Ninth in the nation toughness rank. We're going to get a pull block here from Jake Johnson. There he goes. We'll start this game off with an injury and zero yards. Tough. Jordan Louis in for a big game. We're going halfback slip screen. There's no blitz, but our blockers are out there. This looks good. This looks really good. Yeesh. Go play action double post here. Oh, I don't see anybody's buttons. That's a risky throw. Ooh. I was going to say, I'm glad I overthrew it. He can't intercept it, but we were actually able to get to that. I did not think he was getting there. But right back to the ground game. Jordan Lewis having a good game, and they are not loading up the box well enough to even stop us. Third and five. We got to get this in the end zone. I can't see a single player's icon. I see RB. Oh, Maher. Hoping to make it simple for North Carolina defense is no joke here, boys. All right, second to 10. Cheeky little handoff. Take it to the middle 10. We're running the ball so well, shockingly well. All right, second and 17. There's a blitz off the right side. Johnson's a bit over top of him. It's possible. What a ball. First and 10, another three-man rush dude. I was just about to say the three-man rush should be easy, but all three of those D linemen are star players. A three-man rush is probably the right call for them. They can get pressure with only three. Second and 18, we're gonna go a little play action. I did get an ability that improves play action for me a little bit. Despite that, I just got shit on in the backfield. I can almost see my audibles. I've got Jake Johnson out there as a wide receiver. I like that, but I didn't get to actually see my... I'm too nervous. Oh, dude, that stadium impact is so strong. I couldn't hot route Jake Johnson's route. All right, Clemson gets on the board, and honestly, I'm sitting here talking shit about their quarterback. I can't do anything either. I've been, I've been relatively ineffective. Ooh, Maher. What a play. All right, second and one. Let's move. Let's get, we need a, we need another field goal here. Ooh, Jordan Louis. At the very least, that's a nine-point game. But you know what? We should probably be aiming for a touchdown, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, playmaker. Playmaker. Is it a good ball? It is. Second and goal. Another handoff, Jordan Louis. I might just keep giving him the ball. He's he is all over it right now. This is risky. Read option. Let's see if he bites. He does. I'm keeping it. Maher. Wait, did I, did I knock it in? What just happened? Or did he, did I not have the ball? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what the hell just happened. Straight up. Oh, Clemson scores, but they're out of timeouts. Oh my gosh. We just went into Clemson's house, number seven Clemson, and beat them by two. That's on one touchdown and three field goals. I honestly can't take credit for this win. I gotta give it to my defense. Holding Clemson to 14 is spectacular. Regardless, I got nothing to complain about. We just beat a highly ranked, a top 10 opponent. That's amazing for us. Presumably we'll be ranked after this week. We've got ranked Oregon State next week, ranked Syracuse after that, ranked Louisville, and then it's Pittsburgh. So we kinda gotta get through this gauntlet. And then we play number four, Miami in week 12, number 22, NC State in week 13. Yeesh. The next couple of weeks were amazing for the Tar Heels. After beating Clemson, they were on a hot streak. A win against Oregon State, who 
is no longer ranked. A big week eight victory over Syracuse. A week nine shutout against Louisville, who is also no longer ranked. A week 10 dub over Pittsburgh. A week 11 win over Virginia. And that takes us to week 12, where we've got a massive game coming up against the eight and two Miami Hurricanes. It's a top 10 matchup. We're fourth in the nation at nine and one, six and zero oh in the ACC. I've been hoarding skill points for this moment right here. We got 14. I'm gonna boost sleight of hand to silver. I can boost mobile deadeye to gold. I think I gotta do that. That's such a good ability. Gold mobile deadeye. No, no, no. Oh my God, no. Look at the injury report. Emmanuel Cantu. He's six foot three with 99 speed. This man was born to play football. He has a fractured kneecap. Injury length 20. Does that mean 20 weeks? That is literally the worst news I've ever gotten in my whole life. Six and zero in the ACC. We could sweep the ACC with a win this week and a win next week against NC State. I cannot believe that Emmanuel Cantu is hurt. That's actually depressing. All right, we're gonna kick this game off a little play. Actually, this is really good starting field position. I also had multiple people open and I just got sacked for a bazillion yards. What am I doing? See, like, dude, I wish I had Emmanuel Cantu right now. Ooh, blitz over the middle. Hey, you know what? Jordan Ship, you go ahead and do it anyway, buddy. Yeah, you don't need 99 speed. Guys, I got sacked so that I could get more passing yards. It's a strategic move you simpletons would never understand. Just give me a little time here, boys. Give me a little time. Oh, right there. That's so easy. Yeesh. I'm about to blow these dudes out like they're Louisville. Do we do a 35-0 like it's Louisville? Oh my God, Jordan Louis on the RPO. No! Oh my God, he was still up. Okay, third and five. That's a sit and go, that's a touchdown. Can I get it to him? What a ball! Retired. Miami, hang him up. Hang that shit up. I'm going to the net. I'm going to the college football playoffs this season. Oh, blown coverage. Okay, Miami, you actually have to hang it up, retire, and never show your face again. You are supposedly the ninth best team in the nation, and you are getting shut out. I'm back in the MAC. I'm playing the Ohio Bobcats. That's a fucking touchdown. Retire! You're so dog water. I came to the ACC to play squads, to compete. I, I literally hyped this game up like this is gonna be the biggest game of the year. Oh, Hamilton, please just take him for a touchdown. I will laugh my ass off. Ooh, all right. All right, I'm getting a little cocky. First and 10 here. Ooh, that's gonna clear just barely caught. No way. I don't even need a manual can do. You this is just embarrassing. Six passing touchdowns, 356 passing yards. I wonder what the school record is. What do you think that the Tar Heels, oh, I got subbed out. I was just talking about that. So you can get subbed out. I mean, naturally I should have. You don't expect the top 10 matchup, number four versus number nine, to have your starting quarterback get subbed out. But wow, that was a stomp. Yo, I did not expect this. We are number one in the nation. I wonder if how bad we beat Miami determines that. You know what I mean? So we lost to Notre Dame and second in the nation is the, why are this, why is the Charlotte 49ers always so good? Congratulations, no way. I just lost to NC State. You've been invited to play in the ACC championship in week one against Clemson. I just lost to NC State because I just dropped to seventh in the nation. I still get the ACC championship, that's awesome. I think that loss is just gonna impact our bowl game. Yo, it, it is honestly crazy though that we can virtually shut out Miami, like almost fully shut them out. And then in week 13, we play unranked NC State and we lose. It's not a huge deal. We got the ACC championship. I'm, I mean, we're seventh in the nation. We should still be in the college football playoffs, right? You love to see that, baby. We're 2-0 against Clemson on the season. I could have gone there. I didn't want to show that game since we already played Clemson. And winning that game against Clemson makes us third in the nation. So we're absolutely undoubtedly going to the college football playoffs. Yo, I can't say I'm excited to play them in the first round though. We're invited to the college football playoff quarterfinal. Yeesh. Yeah, I, I really cannot say that I'm excited for that. Yeesh. Georgia's, ooh. Georgia's got three senior middle linebackers that are all 90 plus, what? I mean, are they playing at outside linebacker? This guy is a dog. Raylan Wilson's a 94 speed middle linebacker. He would be the fastest wide receiver on my team. I'm fast as fuck, boy. All right, boys, it's time for the college football playoffs. If we're gonna play our best, we gotta look our best. We're going with the home options, the all blues. Taking on the Georgia Bulldogs. It's our first ever college football playoff game. We're only a sophomore. 
Georgia opens the game up with a touchdown. Look at the stadium. Georgia on the right, North Carolina on the left. We're gonna hand off straight to Louie to start this game out. No Emmanuel Canto. I'm hoping that's no problem. Although he's definitely cheering us on from the sidelines, right? There's Jake Johnson. I got rocks for that, Jake, so you better take it home, buddy. Second and four, staying in the passing game, just trying to keep these D linemen at bay. Good drop back and a good ball. I know this sounds really obvious, but I notice how less often I just miss passes now that my attributes are up there. It just goes to show how they talked a lot about this year, how actually, ooh, ooh, I'm talking too much. Jordan Louis almost in the end zone. What I was trying to say is they said attributes are really important this year. I could definitely tell. It was really hard to throw the ball at the start. Second to goal, we're going spread. Oh, that's a delayed blitz. It's gonna leave you open. That is just too easy. I love that. Middle linebacker vacated. I suppose Raylan Wilson does have 94 speed. I'd probably blitz him too. 100% completion, a touchdown, 51 passing yards. Something tells me we're gonna need to score every possession. Okay, we're gonna at least get a field goal. We're in field goal range. I don't really know that I can, I don't really know that I can take a bigger shot here. I can just make this a more manageable field goal. Oh, it's a great ball. It's exactly what we want. Ooh, this is so risky. I don't go for this here, right? Oh, you know, coach might not even give me a chance. Is that a guy or a girl? Coach is gonna take a field goal. We're gonna tie this ball game up at half, but we start with the ball after halftime. That is a huge advantage. All right, third and eight. Man, I just got a false start, Jake Johnson. Oh, we're so rattled right now. It's, it's the playoffs, man. This ain't even the natty chip yet. Third and 13. Ah, there's a flag and I fumbled. What's the flag, please? Oh no, it's on us too. Holy shit. That opening drive could not have gone worse. One thing I have noticed, dude, you will drop the football in the pocket. You get smoked, you will drop it. Georgia gets a touchdown. No. Wow, I really got so cocky after that Miami game. We're gonna have to claw if we wanna win here against Georgia. I'm, I'm throwing short every play. I cannot go yard, not right now. I mean, if it's open, I'll take it, but we just need to pick up something, dude. I'm fucking bagged, like straight up, I'm just bagged. Oh, wheel route, beautiful. Louie, Jordan Louie. Oh no, that's bad. Texas, all right, make up for it, buddy. Big catch. Stepping up with my heart, I gotta slide, I gotta slide. Oh, that's so horrifying. I'm gonna give Jake Johnson a quick out. Oh, he's, he's there, he's there. What an audible. That was the perfect audible for that scenario. Jake Johnson's in the end zone. We are not out of the woods yet. 130 passing yards and two touchdowns. Dude, Georgia's legit. We stopped them uh, in the same field position. Defense, I love you. Uh, playmaker, why? You just can't script something that fucking beautiful, man. Booth review? Review these nuts in your mouth. That's a catch. Wait a minute. Look at this dot. Just one foot. Just one foot. Okay. That was literally a catch in the NFL. What are you reviewing? Coach wants to chew clock and kick the field goal. I agree. Georgia has three timeouts, so they're going to burn one here. We got an RPO alert wide receiver screens. Probably. I'm just going to go with the handoff, although it's probably the read anyway. One more handoff. Oh, it's not a first down. I think Coach is going to kick this field goal. That almost scares me a little bit. I feel like it's not gonna be that hard for Georgia. Like, I would personally go for this. We get the field goal. We stopped Georgia. We stopped Georgia! Oh my God. Oh dude, when it was 17 to 10 and we turned the ball over, I thought we were cooked. I mean, this is not an impressive performance by any means. Georgia straight into LSU. Tar Heels taking on the Tigers here. In the semifinals, ooh, this is the Rose Bowl. We've always had good luck in the All Powder Blues. We gotta stick with it. LSU scores first, now we can take over. Hamilton's a star now. Ship is, and so am I, look at that. Looks pretty sick having that star under your name. We'll go to Jordan Ship, who gets a nice little rub right there. He's gonna, yeah. Yak Merchant Maher. Um, oh shit, I didn't know this was a screen pass. I was looking for my icons. All right, we're just going double crossers here. Hamilton and Jake Johnson are on crossers. Hamilton's there, but he needs the sideline. This is a bad start. We got to tie this game up. Go check. Oh! Yo, run that back. I just did a lefty flick pass. 
I'm a right-handed quarterback. That was so sick. I think that came out of my left hand. I wonder if that's like an attribute thing. Like once I have high enough attributes, I can do that. Or I wonder if we would have done that anyway. That might be a touchdown if that's a good ball. Oh, what a laser beam. The Tar Heels are in the end zone. Come on, boys. We didn't come this far to come this far. Although maybe we did because we missed a PAT. Oh, I tried to step up in that pocket. Throw a deep one. Timeout LSU and coach is going to make me run the ball. That does suck that I have to increase my coach's trust to call more plays. That's all I had. All I had was run plays here. And I highly doubt Jordan Lee. He could though. He could though. He could though. Coach is a genius. And I'm getting blocks in the back. And nobody's going to call it Jordan Louie. Literally just put the team on his back. A 97 yard rushing touchdown out of the end zone. You're insane. He's saving my legacy. He's like my Scotty Pippen for Michael Jor fraud. Le Goat Bon Bon Pookie Bear James could never. Sorry. Now we're in a weird spot. We're up by three, right? We've got to burn some clock off here because there's only two minutes left in the ball game. But a field goal is just weird here. We do get the first down right there, and that's a quick timeout out of LSU. I just don't like the field goal because we're only up by six, and if LSU scores a touchdown, we're down by one. But, dude, look at how insanely... Oh, my God. We just got back-to-back -back first downs on inside zone. What is LSU running? Third and five. Coach is giving me a pass play. Not too many blitzing. No! Get my eyes downfield. LSU star edge rusher sacks me right there. I think B might have been open. Oh no. We will get the field goal. It's a 48 yarder. But what does LSU do with the ball? Oh, we didn't. We missed the field goal. 52 seconds, three timeouts. Second and 10, 45 seconds. We have the opportunity to make a game winning drive in the Rose Bowl. The second round of the college football playoffs. What a catch. Jordan Ship. Or no, that's Washington. Find the seam, Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson, money ball. Get up there, boys. Let's go. First and ten. Under twenty seconds. Jake Johnson again. No. I threw that ball so late. Carmica Glass. Jake Johnson was open early, so I threw it when I saw him open. But by the time the ball got there, he wasn't. What a bad pass. I just choked. I just choked our playoff run. Oh, no, that's so brutal. Wait, we have three timeouts. We have the ball. This game is not over. Don't you dare count me out yet. Oh my God, they're gonna leave Jordan Ship in single coverage. There's a flag. Defensive pass interference. It's going to be DPI. I think I decline, but will the clock run if I decline this? If He caught it, though, too. If I decline, I'm on the 19, but I don't know if the clock runs. If I accept it, I'm certain it doesn't. I think I have to decline and run a play. Get up there. Is the clock running? It's not. It's not. At least not yet. We have one play to win this right here, right now, on a defensive pass interference. RB! You suck! Maher, I was so good all season, and I really just played the worst game of my career and the biggest game of my career. Mmm. LSU gets the dub. Damn, boys, it was a hell of a run for our sophomore season. But I choked against LSU in the Rose Bowl. On the season, almost 4,000 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. It was a hell of a season. It really was. Now, all that being said, we'll be back. I'm only a sophomore. I got two more years of college football eligibility, and I'm one of the best quarterbacks in college football. And damn, I really hope we get to play LSU again. I could enter the transfer portal, I could leave for the NFL, but frankly, I want to win it all with North Carolina. Not only that, but my favorite player on this squad, a player who I am so excited is returning, Emmanuel Cantu, will be back next season. All 99 speed of him. And I tell you what, he better stay healthy because I'm going to need him in the playoffs. I could have used him there. Not how I wanted the season to end, but it's also not how I expected the season to go. That's going to be it for today's episode, gentlemen. Before we go, though, we can look at this insane improvement 
over our first season at Ohio. So we still threw for a lot of yards, but 20 more touchdowns. Although I will say, I have two more interceptions, but I also played a few more games because I made the college football playoffs and two of those interceptions came against LSU, which was a huge bummer. Keep in mind, those 20 more touchdowns are only on 32 more attempts. So needless to say, we're very happy to be in North Carolina. And I think I owe it to North Carolina after really playing poorly against LSU to make a big push for him here. All right, boys, I love you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.